like to invite Ao Jun Yen on stage. Round of applause for Jun Yen. He's going to tell us the benefits of donating blood. Round of applause. Hello everyone, my name is Jun Yen. I'm 11 years old. Today, I'm going to tell you the benefits of donating blood. Human blood is among the few things that technology has not found substitute for. No one can manufacture outside the body, yet every year it is required to save millions of lives of people who are in accidents or suffering from certain diseases. Since 1947, when several blood banks have been established across the United States, the public has been actively donating blood as a way of fulfilling one civil responsibility. Since then, more and more lives have been saved. Studies have found that the proportion of repeat donors increased with age and education level. According to Abdullah 2011, people who have a higher education tend to donate more frequently. It seems like the more people understand, the more they are willing to give. So what makes these donors come back several times a year? Number one, you save lives. Every time you donate blood, you save as many as three lives. Right now in the US alone, somebody needs blood every three seconds, and an average of 40,000 units are needed every single day. The person who could help could be an infant born prematurely, or neighbor who's suffering from a disease or possibly some relative who just done some major surgery. Any point in life, 60% of the population will need blood, yet less than 5% donate. Number two, you get a, number two, you get rid of excess iron from your body and reduces risks of heart diseases. Aside from that wonderful feeling of fulfillment, you also can benefit much from donating blood. When you donate blood, you get rid of excess iron from your body. Iron is essential for a body's healthy function. It transports oxygen, but when there is an excess of it, it can be deposited into the heart, liver, pancreas, where it can cause damage. Excess iron has also been found to cause high blood pressure. High blood pressure. Men, because donating blood helps regulate the amount of iron in your body, men can greatly benefit from the process more than women who menstruate every month. According to Dr. Philip de Christopher, blood bank director of Loyola University Health System, repeated blood donation lead to better blood circulation and, an, and decreasing the risk of blood vessel lining damages or arterial blockages. Experts just want to warn those who suffer from iron deficiency, though a, a study conducted on Saudi Arabian men showed that blood donors may develop iron deficiency, especially those who are below or just bordering normal range to begin with. Number three, you get a health screening. Every time you donate blood, you, you get a health screening. The great thing about blood donation is that it's made to undergo a health screening before being allowed to donate blood. So now you can make sure they are healthy enough to afford losing some blood in the given time. The health screening you get does not just make sure the blood you donate is healthy and safe, it also benefits you as a donor. Before being allowed to donate blood, doctors and nurses will have to check your heartbeat, temperature, cholesterol, blood pressure, and hemoglobin levels. If you decide to max out your opportunity to help, you will have your health checked by professionals every two months. Then you can track your health by using these numbers and see how exercise, diet, and other lifestyle changes affect your body. Donating blood is something that everyone should be happy to do. Count on their number of lives depending on it. This philanthropic action 
does not just give the gift of life to others, it also gives back great benefits in return. Thank you. Well done, Jun Yan. Thank you for telling us such informative speech. All right. Thank you for your wonderful presentation. Round of applause for Jun Yan.